And finally, Nostradamus has also predicted that Mother Earth will suffer even more in 2024. He refers to the parched earth and great floods, possibly indicating extreme climatic conditions. Tsunami warnings were issued, then downgraded on the Ishikawa coastline and people were told to head to higher ground. Some of Nostradamus' predictions have been correct in the past. One of his most famous ones was the Great Fire of London in 1666. Nostradamus, a French astrologer and physician, was known for his extraordinary ability to see into the future and receive messages transcending time and space. He wrote a collection of poetic verses that he claimed contained predictions about future events. But surprisingly, some of these predictions turned out to be accurate, foretelling major historical events like the French Revolution, the rise of Adolf Hitler, and even the September 11th attacks. In a shocking turn of events, some of Nostradamus' predictions from over four centuries ago are unfolding before our eyes. What exactly were his predictions for 2024, and should we prepare for the worst? Join us as we unravel Nostradamus' terrifying predictions for the coming months. Picture this. You're in a peaceful environment, everything calm and relaxing. But out of nowhere, disaster strikes. You soon discover that it's one of those silent disasters like an earthquake or a volcanic eruption that catches everyone off guard. Now, imagine if there was actually a prediction, a precise forecast made centuries ago that could have saved everybody if they had only paid attention. Well, that's exactly what unfolded on New Year's Day this year. On that unfortunate day, a devastating 7.6 magnitude earthquake was triggered by the dormant fault of Ishikawa Prefecture's Noto Peninsula, causing widespread destruction. As the events unfolded in Ishikawa, Japan, the world was shocked as the fault was dormant for over 3,000 years. And a major tsunami warning has been issued for Ishikawa Prefecture after a magnitude 7.5 earthquake shook western Japan. What was even more surprising was the fact that this devastating incident, claiming the lives of 213 people, had been predicted over 400 years ago by none other than the renowned Nostradamus. The consequences of not recognizing the foresight of one of the greatest seers the world has ever known are far-reaching and sometimes deadly. So keep watching as we delve into some of Nostradamus' other mind-boggling predictions for the coming months. But before we dive into that, let's take a moment to introduce you to the man behind these spot-on prophecies. Nostradamus was born Michel de Nostradam on December 14, 1503, in the town of Saint-Rémy-de-Provence, which is located in the south of France. Nostradamus's grandfather, Guy Gassonet, made a significant decision to convert to Catholicism and change the family name to Nostradamus in order to protect the family from persecution during the Inquisition. His father, Jacques de Nostradam, was a grain dealer and notary, while his mother, Renier de Saint-Rémy, was a descendant of a prominent family. From an early age, Nostradamus displayed a keen interest in the occult and esoteric subjects. He received a classical education, studying Latin, Greek, and Hebrew, and later went on to study medicine at the University of Avignon. His pursuit of medical knowledge was influenced by the outbreak of the bubonic plague in the region, which devastated many communities and sparked his desire to alleviate suffering and find medical remedies. After completing his studies, Nostradamus began practicing as a physician, specializing in treating the plague. He gained a reputation for his innovative approaches and successful treatments, which earned him recognition and respect among his patients and peers. In 1522, Nostradamus enrolled at the University of Montpellier to pursue his doctorate in medicine. During his time there, he occasionally expressed disagreement with the teachings of Catholic priests who dismissed his beliefs in astrology. Some reports suggest that university officials discovered his previous experience as an apothecary, which was considered a manual trade, and used it as a reason to expel him. However, most accounts state that he was not expelled and instead obtained his medical license in 1525. As was customary for many medieval academics, he Latinized his name from Nostradam to Nostradamus. Over the following years, Nostradamus traveled extensively throughout France and Italy, treating individuals affected by the plague. At that time, there was no known remedy, 
and most doctors relied on methods such as mercury-based potions, bloodletting, and dressing patients in garlic-soaked robes. However, Nostradamus adopted progressive approaches to combat the plague. Instead of bloodletting, he prioritized effective hygiene practices and advocated for the removal of infected corpses from city streets. Notably, he developed a rose pill, a herbal lozenge made from rose hips rich in vitamin C, which provided some relief for patients with mild cases of the plague. His impressive cure rate can be attributed to keeping his patients clean, providing them with low-fat diets, and ensuring they had access to fresh air. In time, Nostradamus gained local fame for his innovative treatments and received financial support from many residents of Provence. In 1531, he was invited to collaborate with Jules Caesar Scaliger, a prominent scholar of the time, in southwestern France. During this period, he married and had two children. Tragically, in 1534, while Nostradamus was on a medical mission in Italy, his wife and children succumbed to the plague. The inability to save his family caused him to lose favor within the community and with his patron, Scaliger. As Nostradamus tirelessly worked to combat the plague, little did he know that his experiences would shape his future as a renowned seer, guiding him towards writing enigmatic prophecies that would captivate the world. The hidden knowledge he acquired during his medical endeavors would later intertwine with his mystical predictions. During this time, he also developed an interest in astrology and began incorporating astrological principles into his medical practice. Nostradamus's growing interest in astrology led him to write almanacs, which contained predictions based on celestial observations and astrological calculations. These almanacs not only provided astrological forecasts, but also included medical advice, weather predictions, and general guidance for daily life. Lee, he was a better doctor than he was a prophet, as he routinely prescribed a very sensible regimen of a low-fat diet and lots of fresh air. They became quite popular, and his reputation as an astrologer and seer began to spread. In 1555, Nostradamus published his most famous work, Les Prophéties, The Prophecies. This book contained a collection of poetic quatrains, each consisting of four lines, which purportedly predicted future events. The quatrains were written in a cryptic and metaphorical style, making them open to various interpretations. Nostradamus claimed that his prophecies covered a period of nearly 2,000 years, from his time up until the year 3,797. He believed that his predictions were divinely inspired, and he often used vague language and symbolism to convey his messages. The book gained significant attention and controversy, with some people praising Nostradamus as a visionary, and others dismissing his prophecies as vague and unfounded. But let's backtrack for a moment and find out where this mysterious ability to see into the future came from. How did the prophecies of Nostradamus start? Nostradamus, the renowned seer, delved into the realm of predictions, often focusing on broad categories of events such as natural disasters and conflicts that occur with regularity over time. Some individuals firmly believe that his prophecies have successfully foretold actual occurrences, including the demise of Henry II, the French Revolution, the rise of Napoleon, held to consolidate his efforts, he embarked on an ambitious endeavor named Centuries. This monumental project aimed to encompass 10 volumes, each containing 100 predictions spanning the next 2,000 years. In 1555, he unveiled his most celebrated work, Le Prophet, or Les Prophéties. These cryptic and enigmatic prophecies presented an arduous challenge in terms of interpretation and the identification of specific events. While skeptics argue that the prophecy's vagueness and ambiguity allow for retroactive connections, where any event can seemingly be matched to a prophecy, they acknowledge that Nostradamus's writings encompass a wide range of general events. Nevertheless, the distinctiveness of his predictions lies in their enduring popularity within historical records and popular culture. Despite the controversy surrounding their accuracy, they continue to captivate and intrigue the public. Nostradamus's aspirations extended beyond Les Prophéties. In 1554, he envisioned a grand opus entitled Centuries, comprising ten volumes with 100 predictions that would span the next 2,000 years. However, only the first volume was completed and published during his lifetime. 
The reasons for his inability to finish the remaining volumes of The Centuries remain unclear. Some speculate that his demanding life as a physician, navigating various social and political challenges, may have impeded his progress. Additionally, Nostradamus faced criticism from religious authorities who denounced his prophecies as a cult and considered his activities to deviate from acceptable norms. Despite the incomplete state of centuries, the first volume of Les Prophéties garnered significant recognition and popularity, propelling Nostradamus to fame during his lifetime. His prophecies fascinated countless individuals who attempted to decipher their meanings and establish connections to historical events. The significance of Nostradamus's unfinished opus lies in his unwavering fascination with his predictions and their enduring impact on popular culture. Although the complete vision of centuries remains unrealized, Nostradamus's work has permeated through the ages. His prophecies have been subject to interpretation and reinterpretation by numerous scholars and enthusiasts, all striving to unlock the secrets within his verses and link them to contemporary circumstances. Now that we've delved into the origins of Nostradamus's predictions, let's explore some of the prophecies that are believed by some to have come to pass. One such prediction revolves around the Great Fire of London in 1666. In Century II, Quatrain 51, Nostradamus wrote, The blood of the just will be demanded of London burnt by the fire in the year 66. The ancient lady will fall from her high place, and many of the same sect will be killed. Interpreters suggest that the blood of the just refers to the numerous deaths resulting from the fire, while London burnt by fire in the year 66 is seen as a reference to the Great Fire of London. The Ancient Lady is commonly interpreted as the City of London, often symbolized by a woman, and many of the same sect will be killed, is thought to allude to the religious conflicts that ensued following the fire. However, it's important to note that interpretations of Nostradamus's writings are highly subjective, and many scholars and skeptics argue that his quatrains are often vague and can be applied to various events after they occur, rather than predicting them. Therefore, while intriguing, the connection between this prophecy and the Great Fire of London should be viewed skeptically. Nevertheless, we cannot deny the apparent connection between Nostradamus's prediction and the actual occurrence of the devastating fire. But that's not all. Nostradamus even seemed to predict the terrifying events that unfolded in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. In reference to these two cities, Nostradamus wrote, There will be scourges the like of which was never seen. This description certainly applies to the atomic bombs that devastated Hiroshima and Nagasaki at the end of World War II. Those who survived the immediate detonation suffered from excruciating radiation poisoning, resulting in many fatalities. The mention of a stone in the tree in Nostradamus's quatrain could describe the shape of the mushroom cloud that engulfed the sky above the cities. It could also symbolize a land-bound object like a bomb, paradoxically appearing where it shouldn't, resembling a tree or the sky. The quatrain presents an increasingly bleak picture, foretelling famine, plague, potentially referring to radiation sickness, and the lasting disruption of war. The mention of people put out by steel may allude to the planes that dropped the bombs. Of course, it's worth noting that this could simply be Nostradamus discussing a literal plague affecting any potential cities, given his first-hand experience in treating plague patients. Nevertheless, the interpretation ultimately depends on the extent to which one chooses to believe in Nostradamus's prophecies. Nostradamus's predictions have sparked fascination and debate throughout history. While some perceive connections between his prophecies and actual events, others argue that the vagueness of his quatrains allows for backdated interpretation. But there are some prophecies that are so eerily accurate that you would wonder if he had access to events in the future. Now, we will see some of those predictions that are related to 2024. So, what are predictions for this year? According to Nostradamus, one of the intriguing predictions made by Nostradamus involves the emergence of a new pope in 2024. The number of potential future popes continues to grow as 21 new names have been added to the Catholic Church's most exclusive club. Yet only 137 of those will have the right to vote for the next pope. Currently, 
Pope Francis holds the position as the head of the Catholic Church. However, due to his age and recent health concerns, there is a possibility that a new pope may be elected in the coming year. Nostradamus' prophecy states, Through the death of a very old pontiff, a Roman of good age will be elected, emphasizing the potential for a new leader to take over through the death or resignation of Pope Francis. While the idea of a young and energetic pope may initially seem positive for the church, Nostradamus further suggests that this new leader will weaken his see and hold the position for an extended period of time. The interpretation of weaken his see remains open to debate. It could imply a decrease in the church's influence or the occurrence of a scandal that tarnishes its reputation. Additionally, Nostradamus mentions that the new pope will not be the chosen Roman pontiff and will face opposition and criticism both internally and externally. Interestingly, Nostradamus also mentions a dark-skinned youth who will assist the new pope with the support of a powerful ruler. This suggests that the future pope could be of African or Asian descent and may receive backing from a significant secular or religious figure. Such a development would mark a historic shift for the Catholic Church, which has been predominantly led by Europeans throughout its history. According to Nostradamus's predictions in his 1555 text, Les Prophetes, a war between the United States and China is foreseen for the year 2024. Nostradamus described a fierce clash of naval forces that would instill dread and terror in the ocean, with the red enemy trembling and pale. The term Mabus was used to refer to the leader of the red enemy, leading some interpreters to link it to Chinese President Xi Jinping, as his name bears resemblance when pronounced backwards. There are several plausible reasons why the US and China could potentially go to war in 2024. One significant issue is the matter of Taiwan an island that China claims as its own, while the U.S. supports its status as a democracy. China has repeatedly threatened to use force to reunify Taiwan with the mainland and has intensified its military presence near the island. In contrast, the U.S. has pledged to defend Taiwan and has provided substantial military support. This situation creates a tense and volatile environment where any miscalculation or provocation could trigger a conflict. Another contributing factor is the ongoing trade war between the two nations. The trade war has been ongoing for years and has inflicted damage on both economies. Tariffs and sanctions have been imposed on each other's goods and services, impacting various sectors such as agriculture, technology, and energy. Furthermore, the trade war has caused global economic instability and uncertainty, while fostering increased hostility and mistrust between the superpowers. Despite several rounds of negotiations and talks, the trade war remains unresolved and holds the potential to escalate into a full-blown war. Additionally, there is a rivalry for global influence and leadership, particularly in areas like technology, security, and human rights. The US and China have been competing for dominance in domains such as artificial intelligence, space exploration, cyber warfare, and nuclear weapons. These complex issues have proven challenging to resolve, even with attempts by U.S. President Joe Biden to improve relations with China in 2023. Although President Biden met with President Xi Jinping and discussed various topics, no substantial breakthroughs or agreements were reached and tensions remained high. The meeting was overshadowed by allegations of espionage, sabotage, human rights violations, and cyber attacks. It appeared more as a diplomatic gesture rather than a genuine effort to resolve differences and disputes. If Nostradamus' predictions hold true, 2024 could witness a catastrophic conflict between the US and China, impacting the entire world. The consequences of such a war would be significant and far-reaching for everyone involved. One of the most outlandish prophecies for 2024 revolves around the emergence of a new pandemic caused by a lack of sleep. According to this prophecy, a mysterious virus that induces extreme fatigue will spread globally during the Dragon Year of 2024. This pandemic will be unprecedented in scale, resulting in insomnia becoming a debilitating disease that affects society as a whole, leading to conflicts and social unrest. Individuals will experience an overwhelming urge to sleep and will be unable to perform daily tasks for extended periods. 
Consequently, finding employment, attending school, and maintaining a normal lifestyle will become increasingly challenging. There are various potential causes for this sleep pandemic in 2024. One factor could be the widespread use of technology, particularly smartphones and social media, which disrupt the natural sleep cycle and expose individuals to blue light and radiation. Another contributing factor may be the escalating levels of stress and anxiety resulting from the uncertain and chaotic state of the world, preventing people from relaxing and falling asleep. Additionally, the declining quality of the environment, including air and water pollution, could adversely impact people's health and well-being, impairing their ability to sleep. These causes have persisted and worsened over the years, despite numerous warnings and recommendations from experts and organizations advising individuals to prioritize sleep hygiene and health. Suggestions such as avoiding caffeine and alcohol before bedtime, establishing a regular sleep schedule, creating a comfortable and dark sleeping environment, and practicing relaxation techniques like meditation or yoga have been proposed. If Nostradamus's prophecy holds true, 2024 could witness the outbreak of a strange and unsettling sleep pandemic that affects the entire world. Hopefully, this prophecy does not come to pass, but if it does, investing in quality pillows and blankets may become a necessity. Nostradamus' prophecies in the realm of politics are rather astounding, as he once foretold that Prince Harry will ascend to the throne of England. According to one section of Nostradamus's 1555 manuscript, Les Prophetes, a monarch of the Isles, will be expelled by force and replaced by a new ruler who will pacify the land. Some analysts speculate that this could refer to King Charles III abdicating the throne in the face of scandals and public pressure, with Prince Harry assuming his position instead of Prince William. This unexpected turn of events would greatly disrupt the royal succession, given that Prince Harry is currently sixth in line to the throne, following his father, brother, and three nephews. However, Nostradamus may have envisioned this improbable scenario, as he wrote, The youthful lion will triumph over the elder one, on the battlefield in a solitary clash. He will pierce his eyes through a gilded enclosure, two wounds merged into one, then he shall meet a cruel demise. The interpretation of these words remains open, but some believe that the young lion symbolizes Prince Harry, while the elder one represents Prince William. The battlefield could signify a public feud or legal dispute, and the gilded enclosure might allude to the royal family or the monarchy. The merging of the two wounds could imply betrayal or conspiracy, and the cruel demise could suggest a tragic fate or a violent end. Others argue that the young lion actually refers to the popular British singer Ed Sheeran, and that Nostradamus was simply an ardent admirer of his music. Regardless, Prince Harry assuming the role of King of England would be a momentous upheaval in royal history. Guess what? Nostradamus made a prediction that has left everyone shocked. Brace yourself for this one. He foretold that in the 2024 presidential election, the controversial former president of the United States, Donald Trump, might make a comeback and return to the White House. According to Nostradamus, this event would bring chaos to America once again. He even described Trump as a white dragon who would sow turmoil and violence across the nation, ultimately dividing it in half. Nostradamus claimed that this would weaken the dominant power and put the entire world in a dangerous situation. However, he did mention that only the brave and wise could prevent this disaster from happening. Nostradamus's prophecy seems to imply that if Trump wins a second term as president, we can expect years filled with conflicts and struggles. He also predicted that various scandals and controversies would undermine the foundation of the country, making people even more hostile towards Trump and damaging his reputation. Interestingly, we can see that Trump has been quite active in the political scene lately. He's been holding rallies, endorsing candidates, and openly criticizing the current administration. Not only that, he has also officially launched his presidential campaign for 2024, showing his keen interest in the upcoming election. Nostradamus's prophecies truly captivate our imagination as we delve into the hidden meanings woven within his verses. They offer us a tantalizing glimpse into the future 
where the fates of prominent individuals intertwine with the looming specter of both natural and man-made disasters. Throughout history, these prophecies have both fascinated and startled people, sparking passionate discussions and evoking a blend of hope and fear. Deciphering the true essence of Nostradamus's mystical insights is like unlocking a door to the future. It serves as a guiding light, helping us navigate the complexities of life. Even as we progress through time, his predictions continue to echo, reminding us of the enigmatic connection between the past, present, and future. A recent example that underscores the prophetic vision of this remarkable French astrologer is the earthquake that struck Ishikawa, Japan. It stands as a testament to the accuracy and foresight embedded in Nostradamus's words, further fueling our intrigue and fascination with his prophecies. Thanks for watching. While you're still here, click on the other videos you see on your screen right now.